Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm going to do a little quick sound test on the Insignia mic that sold on Best Buy. I'm going to stay silent at 20 seconds. And at 30 seconds, I'm going to connect the Insignia. And I'm not going to make any noise so you can hear the sound around me. It's really silent. So let's see how this goes. Stop. I'm going to stop talking. All right, so that's 10 seconds with my Samsung phone and 10 seconds with the Insignia mic that's connected right now. So we can hear the difference of quality and sound and check how, how sound, how good it is at silent sound and maybe how good it is at how, when I'm speaking. I think it's gonna depend on how good the quality of the mic is, but let's see how it sounds after this video and I'm gonna attach it after this. I'm gonna listen to it and then I'm gonna talk about it. See how, it, how I hear it. All right guys, so after doing the sound test that I just heard my, my own video that I just recorded and I really think the silent test, it sounds like crap. It's not worth buying it. You can hear like a little interference with the, with the sound and that's just hearing it with my loudspeaker on my phone. If you hear, if you hear this through headphones, it probably even sounds worse. And it's probably gonna depend if you like how the voice sounded with this or without this. That's gonna be that's gonna make the difference if you wanna buy this. But if you're looking for a little bit more quality and making it sound a little more professional without the background noise or that silent noise, don't buy this. It's it's not worth it. Try a better uh, mic. Probably the video mic me from the road. It's probably gonna be a, a good video if I test it after this with with both mics. But if you're trying to upgrade with this mic with the Insignia, I don't recommend it. Just don't buy it because it's not worth it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.